Hello and welcome to Fresh Goods Friday 698, we think. My mm. name is Benji today and I'm joined by Mark. Hello. Here. For once. Yeah. So have you been on these things before? Uh, it, seems, it seems like a long time ago. You're always there. I'm all, yeah, six feet that way, yeah. usually. So we totally know what we're doing today. Mm. Excellent. What, why am I here anyway? Because no bugger else is. <laughs> Can we say bugger? Yeah, probably. You just Speak. did. <laughs> uh, everyone's either ill, on holiday, not here, because it's not the usual day that we do it. No. Nope. is isn't Friday. So we've got, had an extra day, I suppose. Yeah. Which is why we've got a bit more things to get in. Yeah, it's it's Good Friday for you guys. It Ho is, yes. Hopefully, if I get this edited in time. Yes. <laughs> which is always a really good Friday. Yeah. <sighs> Any plans? For Plan today? For today. I'm, after this, edit this, and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm jet lagged. Oh, you've been away, haven't you? I've been away. Been in Whistler. Which is in North America town. Well, it's Canada. Don't Canada. Me. Canada. That's yep. right, yeah. Right, good. Doing <sighs> what? Uh, snowboarding. God. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's weird, isn't it? You go on holiday. I just want to show you something. My phone. Um, it, when I open the weather app, it defaults to Whistler. Do you ever do this? You go on holiday and when you come back, you just keep checking the weather on the place you've just been to. No, because it's usually Wales. So it's <laughs> quite relevant, normally. <laughs> or, yeah. It's snowing in Whistler, by the way. Yes. Right, well, that's good, isn't it? Is it? Well, it's not good because I'm not there anymore. Oh, right, was it not? Yeah. Okay. Hey, ho. Right, what have we got? Bits new. Bits. This is the biggest thing. It is. It's another one of these mid power e bikes. Sorry. Yes, another one. <laughs> there were loads of normal bikes requested. I've actually looking in the old stable the other day. There's a lot of normal bike reviews about to come out every week for the rest of time, by the looks of it. But in terms of stuff coming in, it's these mid-power fellas. All right, this is a Focus VAM 2 SL 9.9. <laughs> RRP, SRP, MRP? What do we say these days? R R R we R say R R RRP, don't we? RRP. 7599. Wow. Is, um, that, is that as high as it goes? Is that top of the range? I think there's one above it. Don't ask me the number. I don't know what it's called. This is the 9.9 SL. This is like one that's just below, because this has got like, like terrible things like cables. Ugh. Can you imagine? Uh, so Shimano XT, normal drivetrain, uh, not as many batteries to remember. Uh, it's the kind of flagship, make it as light as possible. This is 17 point something kg for the large as it is. One piece bar stem, all these munchables going in here. They like them. <laughs> Battery doesn't come out. You can't get it out, you have to take the motor out. So you only take it out if it's gone wrong. So it charges in situ, is that the phrase? What's the motor? Fazua. Fazua. E evasion? Yeah. Or is that what they're... Anyway, it's a ride 60, 60 Newton meters. Torque. Um, 430 watt hour battery. And I think the peak power is 430 watts. That's pretty chunky. Assist as well. Uh, not a few years ago, that might have been considered full fat, which isn't that's, this is a re... The Fazua is currently probably, well, I think, the best, whatever system. Uh, it feels like a good. Well, you can't even see it, Ness. really, can you? You can't even tell. If, no. if, if that was uh, not an e-bike... I dare turn it, would... it round. You can see a little bit yeah. on the other side of that, but the chain ring covers it on that side. You get away You get away with that on the trail that no one would think you were cheating. Do you do what I do, which is if you're going past walkers, you kind of try not to uh, knock the power off? Because I'm... A sh I, I don't go past walkers. That's <laughs> horrifically rude. I can wait my turn. Of course, yeah. I don't... No, I don't... I never see anyone. So, no, not really. You're going that fast. I would say hello. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say about it? I don't know. Flex stay, pivots. So it's kind of... Uh, they're, uh, it's a 34 fork on this, isn't it? Yes. And it's only 130 mil of boing yeah. boing and 125 at the back. So, I don't know. I've seen it called electric down country, so <laughs> suck on that. <laughs> At least we know what that means, whether we like it or not, that's where it is. Yeah. Um, so we don't know, I think we'll get a few people on that because it's quite a compact little bike. It's a large, but I think it's 470, 475, so it's probably two dinks for me to really get to grips with. So Mark probably will be on it first, and then we'll see who else is around. Yeah, excellent. Well, so this is no the VAM, isn't it? And focus, VAM, which focus, I think... Focus do the SAM and, and the, jam. the JAM. So is, there's a pattern going on here, but do we know what the V's... Do we know I, what the J and the S stands Mr. for? Mr. Focus, not himself. Mr. Focus UK was here yesterday. There's something like... Vert Vertical ascending machine or something mm. like that. 
But I think that's all pretty tongue in cheek, in house. Yeah. Thing. What the jam could mean, or the Sam, don't know. Surface to air missile. That's well, what yeah, Sam stands yeah. for. Yeah. Uh, I think we've, we've had the jam for in before. Mm. I think we'll get that in again. The Sam, I don't know. We've all got two one, haven't they? The electric ones. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Which Squared. Means. Squared. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. Brilliant. Sick on. I've got something. Unusual. What? I've got a speaker. <laughs> it's a tri-bit storm. Why is it called a storm box? I don't know. I think it's because it's waterproof or just because... It, it, it actually, it is waterproof. It's waterproof and dustproof. proof. a storm. All right, okay. So why... Yeah, I might ask why they're sending us speakers. I think it's because there are some people out there, I've noticed, who come across them occasionally on the trail and they're riding with oh. sounds coming out of their yeah. pack. Yeah. Which... Well, it must be outdoor people who do things in the outdoors, whether it's people who are just camping yeah. or going somewhere overnight might want one of these. I'm not sure. So I think that's why we've been targeted. Well, it's a, it's a big thing. It's 25 watts. Okay. And it's fairly beefy, fairly heavy. And that's because it's got an almost a 5 amp hour battery in it. It's it's okay. mostly battery. Is it not full of... What did you just put in? D's? D's? D-side. D-side. D's. Oh, how far back are we going there? Some of you said pinball machines. <laughs> or... Uh... It's got now. It's got a clever. It's, Can we it's, call them ghetto blasters? Uh, boombox. Boombox. <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, it's a boombox, folks. Yeah. Yeah, boomers that we are, and yeah, it's got it's got a, some. It's Bluetooth. It does what you would expect it to do. It's got an EQ button. Now it's cool. Oh, what that said. The EQ button. You press this, and it goes turbo boost on the bass. Right. But also, it's got. You press it again, and it goes into what it calls audio book. Mode. Okay, right, okay, I get you. Yeah. Different. I've got some ear pods that do that. Yeah. If you're struggling to work out what people are saying on uh, motion pictures. Yeah. Good for listening to podcasts as well. Yeah. Like the Single Track podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Research has recently shown that people who listen to the Single Track podcast are perceived as being more attractive to the opposite sex. Who did that research? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that may or may not be true. But anyway, the, the other good thing about this is um, it's only 64 quid. It's pretty cheap. So uh, anyway. Do I own one? My child has one of those. So I don't know how much it costs. I don't know. It's very reasonably priced. Yeah. It seems fairly robust and waterproof. So it's good for the outdoors. Don't be one of those people riding the trail with this shoved in your back, knocking out the latest or, or, um, Taylor Swift. Uh, Velcro it to your bottle cage, could you? you, you yeah. Don't, don't ride with this. There was people on holiday, on my holiday. There was, there was kids on the lifts snowboarding okay, yeah. with awful, awful sounds coming out of their backpack. Right. At one point, they were, they were in the lift queue, oh God, and we right. came out of the queue and went back just to avoid going up on the chair with these. This, and anyhow, there we go. 64 quid. If you're interested in that, then there's links in Fresh Goods for it. Cool. What else have we got? These. Well, these Crack Brothers are doing. They've done obviously done tools before, haven't they? I don't. I can't remember they've done on bike storage things before or not. But whatever, it's a big promo they're doing. Well, these two are the most interesting ones because they've got the full on SOS Save Our Shred. Um, these are like diet versions of things. So, oh, yeah. bottle cage that can be flipped if you're left-handed or right-handed or whatever. Um, in here, let's see if I can do it swiftly-ish. Tie lever. With a stabber and bacon strips, we used to. I still do. Little just, tubeless repairs. Just the one tie lever. Yep. That's all you need. Come on, it's a big one. Uh, and in here, oh, that one is left empty for a mini pump or a CO2 cartridge of your own providing. In here, metal. A little boing, what? You see that? Oh, wow. It's sprung. Is it? Whoa, that is pretty cool. A very comprehensive tool. Is that, have so I got that, this, the same one here? Yeah. God, what's in that? So there's a chain tool, that's also your chuck head for your CO2, is that what you call it? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, and all the other usual things, Torx, Allens, or Hex, that's what they call them. Um, flathead screwdriver. What, what do we use things. these for? What do we use a flathead screwdriver uh, for these Stops days? on your rear neck sometimes, prizing something out of somewhere. Oh, I do like a good tool. That's mm. pretty cool, actually. So there's Chat that tool. one. Yeah. And this one, which took me a while to work out how to get in it. Because you don't read instructions here. So little grey buttons there. So you push those in. 
There we go. Again, we have seg tool again. Yep. And it's on the other side. Another, what do you call it? Tie lever. That I think is empty. So you can put in whatever you want in there. What would fit in there nicely? Well, half of a pepper army. Yes, a lighter and other things, I would guess, whether that's a target marker or not. CO2 probably would fit in there without that, because you can just use that as the bung at the end. Yeah. Um, kind of things like this in the back of that, those kind of oh, yeah. stabby things Noodles. would go in there. Yep. So whatever you want to put in there. Um, finger of fudge, just enough. That's right. And that goes on. To usual and this bottle boxes. cage swaps around, so you could do because that's one of the problems yeah, with these side kind of loading good. bottle cages, isn't it? Sometimes you, if you're a, if you're a lefty, or well, you got like an old bayer or a certain species that have a side strut, that's which true. You have to yeah. be on. Yeah, that's all right. So, so you can swap it around. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Details it's... on the page above or below us or on Fresh Goods or whatever. Think. Cool. Um, what else? What we got? else is there? I think we'll finish with some rubbers, yeah. Some Sick. rubber, always, yeah. <laughs> In the old. We can't have a Fresh Goods Friday with you without some sort of rubber yeah, fetish. This is um, section. What have we got? Well, let's get them out in order of ness. Michelin. <sighs> okay. Wild Enduro. It's their new Wild Enduros, and that's a rear. I think normally. It's so hard, which we'll do in a second, to not compare them to basically a Schwalbe or a Maxis, which is what we're going to do in a second. It's like the lingua franca, is that what you say? Like, the, it's the language of tyres. We all know what we mean. Um, that, I don't know what that looks like. It's a bit of a one-off, isn't it? It's like yeah. normally on the rear, it's a bit paddly, isn't it? And that looks like an old front tyre from 1998. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, so. yeah. Interesting. It's reminding me of tra Transformers. Logo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see that? Bit of a Transformers so logo going on. It says rear, so it's rear specific. It's rear. And it says mixed speed slash robustness. So it's probably one of those tires that is mountain Europe and not massive relevant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else? We'll give it a go. E bike. Oh, God. Specific. Is it? I don't know. No, it says e bike specific. It says e bike on there. Oh my god. E bike ready. E bike ready, right, I found whatever. Just means a, a chunk. Yeah, it just means heavy, doesn't Remind it? Remind me, Wild Enduro MS, mixed slash soft. Right, okay. Now, as I'm gonna predict, that looks like a Gapier Maxis Asagai mm. that's been mind melded with a bit of a Magic Mary. Now, that sounds rad. <laughs> So that's possibly the most intriguing one out of the box. It does, yeah. To me. 2.4. Um, and there's an MH as well, which is probably mixed hard. Hard pack mix, okay. Yeah. Um, that's... Ooh. So look, Let's 2.5 is bigger. Comparing it to some other brands, because they hate it, but yeah. that's just how it is. That reminds me a little bit of a WTB verdict. How does he know these things? It's just the... <laughs> you take tires, you might not bother. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that uh, I think it doesn't say front or rear for these. You can do what you want, but yeah. I imagine they're uh, pretty front uh, specific. That one, um, yeah, interesting. Do you, you see the on the tread? You see these little slits? Yes. Do you know what those are called? Sipes. The Sipes. Yeah. Called Sipes, yeah. yeah. And uh, just, just a bit of, you know, sort of uh, background on tyres, isn't it? Do you know what they're for? Of course you do. Yeah? Okay. Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're for, uh, it's just an extra working edge and a, a little bit of a splay out. Mm. Uh, it diffuses a little bit of deflection energy a little bit. And yeah. It all adds up. Apparently, the history of them is that it's, it's, um, it came from, Bontrager did these early, really, really early on. Okay. With the... Bonty, was it the Bonty Jones AC? Jones, yes. Yeah. And uh, oh, they, loads of them. they were inspired by Land Rover tyres. Okay. Land Rover owners used to do this. Yeah. They used to actually cut the treads on their tyres to get better grip when they're yep. off road. And that's kind of where it comes from. There we go, fact fans. So I would say that one, because of the siping direction as well, the orientation, that's probably a lot to do with steering and cornering that one. Mm. A little bit dhf ish. Dunk. And that one looks a bit more like braking and yeah. heaviness. Cool. Grrr. So give those a go. We've got um, more products in, in the story, FGF, so go yeah, and check I think those so. out. There's some, still some more. Do we have any time. questions? 
Uh, we might have actually, yeah. Hardtail only asks Evan slash CRC slash Wiggle, what is slash was the point? I'm not yeah, sure. They're just listen for you. I don't know. Someone's got to keep going. They just relaunched their sites this week. Um, yes, so that's Wiggle. true. And uh, if you if you go shopping on Wiggle for a product and then you want to check the price on Chain Reaction or then check the price again on Evans, there's probably no point because they're exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> well, it used to be that, that Wiggle and Chain Reaction, that used to happen, didn't it? And now we've got another third one. So. Yeah. So what is yeah, the point? Are. We will... Find out, but right now it's um, we just uh, keep an eye on it, yeah. Uh, wheels on fire one, ah, uh, yes. At the age of 63, I'm considering my first ever full source. I've always fancied orange, but a bit concerned over the rear end rise if using the rear brake. Do modern models do this, or can you live with it? They never used to really do it in the first place mm -hmm. and I don't really think anti-rise or brake jack particularly existed as inherent to a suspension design um, or if you think you can overcome the C of G and the physics of someone who weighs 80 kilograms or whatever it is putting your brakes on I don't think it really matters what your back end's doing or not doing or compressing or sitting it's not gonna overcome mm. what you're doing above yeah and, and also there's a there's a, an aspect of uh, it or do you know what it might have been a good thing because <laughs> it might just have helped it uh, stopping pitching yeah. forward so i guess for those who don't know what we're kind of talking about here is terminology that like break break jack break jack break but that got jack. sound a bit 90s so we have to call it anti-rise now yeah which is the the effect of when you put the brakes on the suspension actually activates one weight or the other and um Extensional compression or something yeah so sometimes you can find depending on the the sort of uh, the the geometry and the setup of the suspension you can put the brakes on and the rear uh suspension will extend or it will or it will compress and so there's all in history of bikes there's been all kinds of stuff did who was it did kona used to do something with a big bar going across to or a floating caliper so yeah, I, there's been all sorts of um, engineering solutions to get rid of it, but yeah, yeah I'm kind of with you that I never really I've never felt it, never really saw it as a problem in the first place. So I would the answer to that question is I wouldn't bother worrying about that. And no. um, if you're interested in orange, then just go and pick the colour you like. And yeah, you'd probably be good. Good choice. <laughs> and we're saying that the modern rear shocks go an awful long way these days to sorting out any sort of uh, problems. Things like uh, pedal induced bob, which is at the other end of the scale, yeah, and stuff like that. Modern shocks kind of do an awful lot to get rid of that these days. Tweak the rear shock to get rid of the problems. Yeah. You don't, I've just never really liked any bikes that try to uh, interfere with what the rear shock wanted to do, really. Yeah. So I think it's a great way of doing it. Cool. Shock Tag asks, why don't UK pump tracks have roofs? Um, the new ones have drains, don't they? Yes. And they're yeah. better designed to run off to the side and they're also not made of soil anymore, which is yeah. always the killer problem. <laughs> yes. They just make them out of tarmac. And uh, yeah, they're, they're real fine. Um, and obviously it would pinch how high you could do massive booters if they had root on, <laughs> roofs on. That was my thinking, yes. You know, especially when I'm on a pump track, I want to have clearance. Yeah. For... Also, when I'm droning, <laughs> drone footaging myself, ripping round. <laughs> so bad on a pump track. Yeah, well, we don't need roofs in because of our climate. Our climate is... It's, you know, balmy. It's, always, it's balmy. <laughs> it's not, isn't it? Well, since I've been away, has it actually stopped raining at any I think point? It's... No. No. It's rained, I think it's rained for a bit every day. It's just uh, not so good, is it? No. Uh, I think that's it for questions. Yep. Uh, keep asking questions. I'll try and remember to keep asking in the forum in, within enough time for us to film this thing in time. <laughs> um, what else is there to know? I don't know what's particularly happening on the site. Any news? Well, it's gossip? Been oh, no, really. There was the story, the interesting story about all the um, crankworks. Oh, Metal yes. Riders decided yep. that they weren't going to ride, which is uh, an ongoing issue. And we will wait and see what happens in the next Crankworks episode. I don't know when Crankworks are 
There's another one in Cairn. So the one that's oh, just right, happened okay. was Rotorua, which was New there. Zealand. And then yeah. there's another one happening in Cairn. And then there's one in Innsbruck. And then there's one right. in the home of Crankworks, which is Whistler. Okay. Crankworks is like a big festival of freestyle riding, lots of jumps and tricks. Good spectator kind of deal. Did it come out of slope style or is that my misremembering? Yeah, it's a slope style kind it was, of deal. Wasn't it? Yeah. It was always like at the bottom of lift stations. Yes, absolutely. It's all proper up lift stuff. Yeah. Uh, so not quite downhill, it's more showing off, doing yeah. the big tricks and the jumps and stuff. Well, that was where they were. Yeah. Uh -huh. This uh, Rotorua, where, although the men not doing it kind of <laughs> took over the headline, unfortunately, the, the actual better headline from Rotorua was oh. the fact that this was the first time that the women have been the invited really cool. to do the slope style. Yep. Uh, that went ahead. It's the guys who decided as a group that they weren't going to do it for reasons that, in, that they claim is to do with not just the money, but also to do with the safety issues and all sorts of stuff. I think the, the riders' complaints were that um, about buffets. I saw that um, oh. crew get a free buffet, but the riders don't. I don't want to sort of hang the whole thing on that because that sounds a bit trivial, but it's just a wider issue that the the, the riders are trying to sort out with the organisers. Right. And we will wait and see if that actually impacts on future events. Yeah. So that was, that was kind of interesting because I was in Whistler at the time when that happened. Oh, yeah. And Whistler yeah. being like the home of Crankworks. Yeah. So. Um, but there we go. So that was probably it for this week. It's the yeah. Easter. It's Easter now. Yeah. Got the got the Friday off. Yeah. Got the Monday off. I won't be here next week. No, you're on holiday. Where are you going? Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. Not not overnighting anywhere. I'm sure we'll do some day trips to various big hills somewhere and stuff. But cool. kids are off. Took wife's off. Um, no plans. So yeah, keep an eye out. Cool. I might ride this bike. Yeah. Over the weekend. It'll be quite fun. Yep. Oh, okay. great. We are that's done. It. We're done. So uh, until next week, that's all from us. Yeah, merry eggs. Bye for now. There we go. Oh, apparently we're not supposed to eat Easter eggs all in one go. All right. Some doctors come out and said, um, please don't eat a full Easter egg in one sitting. Apparently that was in the news this week. Why? Just because of generalness? I don't know, but he's been absolutely destroyed as a result. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> why would you not eat a full Easter egg in one go? They're not that big, are they? Well, it, yeah, they, they come in various sizes, I yeah, guess. I cream it. egg, I think you, you're right, okay yeah. with cream egg. I wonder if I'll get an Easter egg on it. Because, uh, you know, I'm about to buy them. I bought only last night, actually, because I always do it. I've fallen victim before where you're going to get it on the Saturday and the effers have stopped selling them by that point. And it's, oh, God. So I went to Iceland. Obvs. Still had like four quid each, whatever they are. Yeah. Like 12, 12 quid, I spent on. Yeah, well, not, having, not having any young kids in the house anymore, what we do is we tend to wait until yeah. after Easter, then go and, uh, and then hoover up. Yeah. Yeah, lint. And lin yeah. Lindor eggs, usually yeah. quite cheap straight after. So there, there's our bargain <laughs> spending tip of the week. Anyway, that's enough of um, our outtake post credit scene. <laughs> I can stay there. Right. Goodbye. Bye for now. <laughs> Should I get that downstairs?